Minerals have been used throughout human history in a lot of different ways. The one common thing is that they have always driven technological advancements. So how, as human beings, have understood what they can do with minerals and how they can be used to make our lives more comfortable, easier. How we look at them and how we are able to investigate them has obviously changed. They are now driving our journey to a greener future and the electrification of the planet and our economies. BHP is one of the largest global mineral resource producers in the world. The company was founded in the mid 800 centuries and the name BHP came from a broken hill proprietary. That is the first mine that we found, develop and produce. We are a global resource company, so we, we work in several countries. We have operation over 90 locations around the world. When we think about the climate change goals, all countries have put forward a very clear vision. By 2050, we'll be moved from fossil fuel to uh, renewable source of energies with the goal to reduce CO2 emission. We're going to do that by increasing the amount of energy coming from solar, wind, waves, and so on, different types of technologies. However, to create these technologies and to develop these technologies, there is an important role played by minerals. We will need minerals such as copper, nickel, lithium and so on that underpin the development and building of all these technology. They are everywhere, in our batteries, in our solar chips, in our smartphone. And to do that, uh, we will need to increase uh, not just uh, the output, but also finding more of that. If you think about uh, we will need uh, by 2030, four times the amount of copper to achieve the 2050 goals. We will need four times the amount of nickel to achieve the 2050 goals. That's why they're called the critical minerals. Geology is literally the foundation of everything. Everywhere under your feet, there are rocks. And what geology does is look at those rocks and examines them and thinks about how they formed, how they got there, what story are they telling us about the, the history of our planet. And so as a geologist, we get to look at those rocks and figure out what story that rock is telling us. Copper's used uh, in a lot of different ways because of, of the way it works as, a, as an element, being very soft, it conducts electricity very well. We see them in our cell phones to be able to move electricity from the battery to the rest of the phone so that it actually turns on. And in something like an electric vehicle, you're trying to move electricity around a car. So all of it has to be wired with copper and that's, that's a really key use of it as we're looking into the future. In the past few decades, um, we've seen um, a decline of our success rate in exploration, which simply means uh, we haven't found uh, any big, uh, large deposit uh, of critical mineral resources, such as uh, copper and nickel, 20 years since the last resource of copper was discovered. Part of that uh, is due to, to the lack of uh, funding and investment on the exploration part uh, of the value chain. So a lot of companies uh, that had interesting ideas of where to go and finding those minerals uh, didn't secure the right funds from investors nor from majors uh, mining companies uh, to go and test their concept. It caused uh, a lack of uh, resources uh, available today to be brought into the market to solve the problem of the energy transition. BHP Explorer is crowdsourcing exploration. We have opened a front door to BHP and invited all of the big ideas in minerals exploration to come in and to share them with BHP. What's unique about BHP Explore is that Accelerator model is getting applied to the resource sector. This is the first time we've seen this model. It's never been done before. And so not only is it revolutionary for the mining industry, but it's actually revolutionary for the innovation ecosystem as a whole. 
The journey with Explore has been absolutely amazing. We started just over a year ago, and when we did, we had no clue if any applications were going to come in. But what we found out is there was demand for what we were doing, and we saw hundreds of applications come through the door, and we were officially off to the races. We accepted seven amazing cohort companies into the program, ran an awesome six-month program with the companies, and have developed something in the industry that's different and has the potential to be game-changing. In the exploration business, there's often a bit of a mismatch between what's required to successfully explore and make new discoveries with the traditional funding models for what we call junior exploration companies. We had this concept of exploring in certain parts of Norway and Finland. And when we saw the Explore program come along, well, it was the perfect home for our exploration idea. We gained a lot from the Explore program. In the current day and age, understandably and rightly so, environmental and community aspects are just critical to us being able to do what we do responsibly and for that to be a positive thing for the areas in which we work. And so not only did BHP bring expertise to up our game from a technical exploration point of view, but they've also brought in a whole range of experts to help us understand how we can safeguard the environment better, how we can work more closely with communities, and basically how we can operate more professionally. Exploration is, is high risk. So when you do have a success, when you discover uh, a new area of minerals, uh, new indications, there's uh, not many feelings quite like it. It's, uh, it's really exciting. Uh, it gets the whole team motivated. In fact, it can motivate whole communities um, around uh, this new exciting prospect. Looking back at this first cycle for Explore is witnessing the level of partnership and collaboration among the cohort, seeing this group bond the way that they have, seeing them have such a great chemistry together just blew all of our expectations away. And seeing that level of partnership that's been able to be created within each other for from the cohort standpoint, but also seeing that from a BHP standpoint, from a major company together with junior miners, it opens our eyes to the different possibilities that are available and that can happen when we put groups together. So for Explore 2.0, I'm most excited to take everything that we've learned from the first year and make it even better. We're hoping to see more applications come in with new ideas, novel concepts across the world. And then it's going on the search again, trying to find the best and brightest minds globally that we can then continue to work together with and hopefully see the next cohort being better than ever.